What's up, my YouTube people? Thanks for coming back to see just what I do today. It's a really nice day here in Colorado. The wind has really died down. Still a bit windy, but not quite as bad. Today we are over here at the quail. Just thought I'd give you a nice shot of them. They're doing good. And the quail eggs haven't quite hatched yet. They need about another week. This Saturday they'll, they will be put on lockdown. And then just a couple days after that, they we should have little hatchlings, hopefully, potentially. So today is Thursday. You'll see this video on Tuesday. So this video is gonna going to be about the self-wicking buckets you saw in the last video of the tomato one. I'm gonna show you how I put those together. Now I can't take credit for these buckets. I learned about these buckets last year from another YouTuber. His name's Daniel. His channel is Arms Family Homestead. He's got a lot of cool stuff going on. If you go over there and subscribe, if you're not already subscribed, he has a popular channel. Tell him Stacy from Just What I Do sent you. Um, and I'll give you a sneak peek of what I've got going on in the, snow in the smoker. In an, uh, <laughs> I'll try to give you, in this video, a sneak peek of what I've got going on in the smoker of an upcoming video. So let me gather my tools, I'll show you how to make this bucket, and we'll dippity do this. Okay, I've gathered my tools to show you this project, but first, Monsters have to have their time. And uh, little daisies up there. Uh, and Nelly Bell. So, I've gathered all my tools to show you this project. The only thing you're going to need is a drill. A bucket. Now I get my buckets from Walmart. They just seem to be cheaper at Walmart. Anywhere else they're extremely expensive. Ish. But at Walmart they're only like two bucks. So I get them at Walmart. I like the blue ones better. Less sunlight, algae, evaporation type stuff. I like the blue ones. But as you can tell I do have a white one. That's all Walmart had at the time. So that's alright. I'll make do. And then the only other things you'll need for this to make this self-wicking bucket is some felt or a weed barrier. I'm using this felt. My dad gets it from work because I ran out of weed barrier. So it'll work perfect for this project. Some sort of pipe because you're going to stick this down at the bottom and you're just going to stick the hose or whatever right here and fill it up. And that's all you do. And one more thing is down here in the bottom of your bucket, you're going to need some sort of pot or coffee can or whatever to make a void for the water to go. Now I am using an old uh, hanging pot. I rarely throw these away. I always find something else to use them with. Now I did drill some holes, as you can see all the way around just you know you don't have to I just decided to this is the first time I've done it with these pots I think these pots will work better last year I did it with leftover pots like this but the weight of the soil and the water and everything kind of crushed them so I've had to redo them this year so this year I am trying these pots. These pots are a lot sturdier and will hold up to the weight of everything. So the only thing you need to do is take this pot, flip it upside down, and put it at the bottom of your bucket. And then on one side, when you cut your pipe, whatever kind of pipe, usually use a wider pipe than this, bigger pipe than this, but this is all I have right now. It'll work fine, no problem. 
but you just stick it down in here to where it goes just push it down next to the pot or whatever so it goes all the way to the bottom and then the last thing well not the last thing but the other thing to do is take your weed barrier and uh, line your bucket with the weed barrier line it all the way up and you can see line it up in there and then all you have to do is uh, cut the excess off, fill it with dirt. I'm going to go do that, and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, I've got that felt trimmed weed barrier, whatever you happen to use, doesn't matter, just as long as you have something to uh, make a water gap down here to keep the soil from going all the way to the bottom. Whichever, it doesn't matter. Whatever works. Either one works. So, I got that all filled with, with some soil. Now, I just used some garden dirt mixed with some compost and a little bit of, you know, potting soil. Now, you can use whatever dirt you want. You don't have to use the expensive stuff. You can just go get a cheap bag of uh, potting soil and it'll work just fine. But I like to add a little bit of compost in it since we have it. Helps give everything else a little boost when they're growing. Now, one other small bit of advice is to make sure when you're putting in this pipe, make sure it's on the opposite side of the handle or if you're going to have trouble trying to get it over. I've already done that twice. But in this pot, I normally put tomatoes in these pots. That's what I did last year. They work amazingly. They grew like giant little tomato bushes. And I didn't have to constantly water them either because you have this whole, you have this whole reservoir about this much of it filled up with water. So this year, I'm doing different types of tomatoes this year from scratch as you saw in my last video. I'm also trying two different kinds of peppers in here this year. I haven't tried peppers in these before, but I thought I'd give it a go this year. So let's plant the pepper. Push the dirt aside. Grab your pepper. This one is just a uh, sweet banana pepper. I don't feel like going from scratch with peppers this year. Just give the roots a little rough up since that pot was really root bound. Just give them a little roughing up. So that way they learn to spread rather than strangle the plant. Plant it in there. Pass all the dirt around it. As you can see, it already has a bunch of flowers on it. So I will probably have some peppers pretty soon. We'll see how this goes in this bucket. So the only thing left to do, now for the first couple days, I will water it from the top. And then after that, about a week, you know, two, three days to a week, then I'll start fill it, grabbing the hose and just filling up the reservoir down below with water. So that way the roots will reach all the way down to the bottom of the bucket because that's what my tomato plants do did last year. Now there's one last thing that you should do when you're building these. Move the camera. One last thing to do is I have the pipe on that side. On the opposite side you need to drill a drain hole. Now this drain hole serves as two purposes. purposes. Now you don't want to go too high or too low. You want to try and remember how high that inner pot or can or whatever you put in here was inside the bucket and go just a skosh below the top of that bucket, about an inch from the top of that pot or bucket or whatever you put on the inside of this. That will leave an air barrier so that way your roots don't uh, drown and rot and kill your plant. So that way.
way you have that little bit of air barrier in there so they don't rot out the roots. So the last thing to do is to drill that hole. I just use a 3 8 paddle bit. You can use whatever size you want. I just chose that one for today. Now, trying to measure right for my other buckets. Just drill your hole. And that's it. Just one hole is good. Now, you've got that other bucket inside. Your air gap so your roots don't rot. And then you've got this whole whole gap right here that will hold water. It lasts twice as long and your tomatoes will grow big and strong. You get lots of tomatoes, or in this case peppers. So that way you don't have to water them as often either. Now I fill the bucket up from from here. Put all the water in right there and I just keep going until it comes out the drain hole. That's how you know when it's full. So So that's this project. Easy, simple project. Put those over with the others. Now I have five of them put together. I've got the I've got the banana pepper. And then I've got the poblano pepper going right there. It got a little uh, dried out is why it looks that way. And then there's the tomato you saw me do in the last video. And these two, I'm trying something different this year. I got these things right here from the dollar store. They're called rocket tomatoes. They're supposed to grow like a big bushy tomato. I thought I'd give them a try in these this year. And then over here, these aren't self-wicking buckets, but this one is a yellow watermelon. And up there, I've got my okra. So, that's that easy, simple project for your tomatoes or peppers or really any plant you want to put outside. You could do cucumbers in these, you can do just about anything in these. I'm sure you could do flowers too and decorate the pot. You could always, you know, paint stuff down there or, you know, decorate the bucket in any way you want to. So, that's this easy, simple project. There's little monsters. A little Daisy up there in her chair. Where she always is. So that's an easy, simple project for today. Thanks for watching Just What I Do. Please subscribe. Ring that notification bell. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And I'll catch you next time on Just What I Do. Oh, and don't forget to find the squirrel. I did hide him in this video. He's hidden in almost all of my videos. If you find him, leave a comment down below on where you think you saw him.